Today we'll be reviewing the Acer Aspire 1 D150 netbook. This model comes with 150GB storage space and 1GB RAM. It carries a 1.66GHz Atom processor manufactured by Intel. It has a VGA output, an Ethernet port, three USB ports, a headphone and a microphone jack. It comes with a 6 cell battery, rather than the usual 3 cell meaning its battery life lasts up to 8.5 hours, more than the standard netbook. Unfortunately, the 6-cell battery isn't flush with the back of the machine, but this doesn't cause many problems. It's a relatively small netbook, sporting a 10.1-inch screen with a resolution of up to 1024 by 600 and an integrated webcam and microphone. Additionally, it comes with Bluetooth, so you can sync it up your mobile device as a Bluetooth headset. It weighs in at a tiny 2.7 kilograms, resulting in excellent portability, that comes at a cost, however, as there's no room for a CD or DVD drive, meaning you'll have to purchase an external drive if you want to play DVDs or CDs, or install software from discs. The keyboard is 89% the size of a standard keyboard, with a multi-touch trackpad, allowing you to scroll and zoom. However, the trackpad is somewhat difficult to use, resulting in the un occasional unwanted magnification of the screen. The LED screen is fairly vibrant and doesn't disappoint. The power brick is conveniently small and the netbook provides the user with a means of accessing the internet while away from home, whether it's at a cafe, airport or hotel room. For portability we give it an 8 out of 10, as this is much easier to carry around than your average laptop. We're giving it a 6 out of 10 for performance. This may seem harsh but the Atom processor is easily overwhelmed by multiple applications. It's good for browsing the internet and word processing, but that's as far as you'll get without a significant drop in performance. This may change when Google's Chrome OS is released and we'll re-review the product then. Let's recap on the pros and cons. Pros include the ability to stay cool, its long battery life, integrated web webcam and microphone, relatively quick internet browsing and good portability. The cons include the 6 cell battery being a little bulky and ugly, however this can be replaced with a 3 cell at cost of battery life. Windows XP isn't optimised to run smoothly on netbooks. The multi-touch trackpad can be awkward in zooming and scrolling, as the multi-touch is yet to be perfected. It's a little overpriced at £260, which is a lot for what you get, but if the portability is taken into consideration, then it isn't such a bad deal. Overall, we give this netbook a 7 out of 10. It has its flaws, but overall it serves its purpose well, fulfilling the needs of most users. Visit dreamwarestudios.blogspot.com and our forums at tutorialforums.freeforums.org for more. Our main site, dreamwares.co.uk, is currently undergoing maintenance. We'll be back up in a few weeks.